Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have a new property in Southern Colorado that is surrounded by incredible mountain views in virtually all directions. The parcel has lots of trees, natural open meadows, and the northern boundary borders roughly 760 acres of BLM land. This is the 35 acre parcel highlighted in green. There's a 60 foot wide easement that runs along the southern boundary. There are also 20 foot easements around the perimeter of each side, as well as all the other parcels, which all have 20 foot wide easements unless otherwise noted. The otherwise noted is right here, for example, with that 60 foot wide easement. And then where there are adjoining parcels, that easement is essentially 40 foot wide because you have 20 foot around this parcel and then 20 foot around the adjoining parcel. These are actual photos of the property captured within the last couple weeks. And yes, it really is that beautiful. From the higher elevation point on the property looking south, you can see the Spanish Peaks, both the west and east Spanish Peaks. And here we have Silver Mountain, Mount Mestis, and Rough Mountain. Looking directly west, this is Sheep Mountain, which at the time of this photo was blanketed with cloud cover. To give you an idea what it looks like without the clouds, this is Sheep Mountain. This is a drone shot. And then north of Sheep Mountain, you have Little Sheep Mountain. And further in the distance to the west, we have the Sangre de Cristo mountain range. And then to the northeast, we have Greenhorn Mountain and the San Isabel National Forest. This closest point, this is called the Bedito Cone. Here we have the plat map of the parcel highlighted in green, and you can see how that north boundary there, that north point, borders this 760 acres of BLM land, which is shaded yellow. And here we have a satellite image showing that 760 acres of BLM land that the property borders. And that BLM land features varied terrain, lots of trees, but also open meadows. And there's a road that runs through the BLM land right there. And you can actually use this road to access the property from the north. And there are additional ways to reach the property as well, including coming up from the southwest, also coming in from the northeast. Here we have the parcel on our interactive map. If we go to the map legend, and then turn on map features. Let's turn on these features labeled boundary. There's four of them. And then also the one labeled 60 foot easements. Remember, as we mentioned earlier, there's a 20 foot wide easement around the perimeter of each parcel, unless otherwise noted. This 60 foot easement, that's one of the otherwise noted. But where we have adjoining parcels, this easement is actually 40 foot wide because we have 20 foot around the perimeter of this parcel, which adjoins the 20 foot around the perimeter of this parcel, hence the 40 foot wide. Then we can zoom out a little bit here and you can see all of these parcels, they all have that same designation. So there are a lot of different ways that you can get to the property. And some people will use what we call this path of seasonal water flow, sometimes also referred to as a wash, an arroyo. It'll likely have some amount of water during periods of heavy rains or snow melts. And you can see the tire tracks where someone has used this to access their property. If we look at the interactive map again, you can see that seasonal water flow that winds through here. It just touches the southwest and southeast corners. And then through the southern portion, you also have these transmission lines. Now this is the topographic map. Here we have the parcel highlighted in red. You can see that path of seasonal water flow along with the elevation change on the property. If we also look at the contour map, we have some of those elevation points circled. At the high elevation point, you're looking at about 7,040 feet. And then at the low elevation point, you're looking at about 6,900 feet. One of the things that many of our customers love about this area is the public land. In bordering 760 acres of BLM land in this area is very desirable. 760 acres is more than a section. A section is 640 acres, one square mile. This is over one square mile of BLM land bordering the north boundary of the property. In addition to the BLM land that the property borders, you're also surrounded by tens of thousands of acres of BLM land, some just minutes from the property. And then all this green shaded area is national forest land. Just north of the property, you have Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest. And going back to an earlier photo, this is standing on the property looking to the northeast at Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest. This property is located in Game Management Unit 85, which is desirable for elk and is said to have one of the largest elk herds in the entire world. And that is in line with what our customers say about their experiences in this area. It's also popular for wild turkey and mule deer. 
along with a whole host of other game. There were some wildlife tracks and droppings on the property. These are Google Earth terrain views. This is south of the property looking north. There you can see the 760 acres of BLM land, the property borders. There's Greenhorn Mountain and the San Isabel National Forest. Now we're east of the property looking west. This is northeast looking southwest. This gives you a good perspective of some of the topography on the land. Here we are north of the property looking south. You can see the mountains that we had pointed out earlier. In this image right here, there are the Spanish Peaks, Silver Mountain, Mount Mestis, and Rough Mountain which is consistent with this image right here. Now we're west of the property looking east. There again, you can see that BLM land. You can also see some of the topography change. And there we have the 760 acres of BLM land. Now these white circles represent nearby landowners that have developed their properties to varying degrees. To give you an idea where this property is located, this is the 35 acres right here. To the north is State Highway 69. To the south, you have State Highway 160. To the east, you have Walsenburg, Colorado. Walsenburg has a population of around 3,200. It's only about 42 minutes from the property. In Walsenburg, you find all your necessities. There's a hospital with medical care, level four trauma center, specialty medical clinics, Colorado Veterans Home. There's also multiple grocery stores, lumber and building supply, restaurants, professional services. There's a gun shop where you can get over-the-counter hunting licenses. You're about 47 minutes to the Lathrop State Park. This is 1,600 acres of publicly accessible land with two lakes. And then over at Walsenburg, you have Interstate 25. Now, Interstate 25 runs north and south along what is called the Front Range. Interstate 25 will take you south to Trinidad, population of 10,000. There's a Walmart Supercenter in Trinidad. Just a little bit further south of Trinidad, then you'll be in the state of New Mexico. If we go north on Interstate 25, you're going to then hit Pueblo, Colorado. That's only about an hour and 15 minutes from the property. So you're basically about equidistance between Trinidad to the south and Pueblo to the north. With Pueblo having a population over 100,000, it has all the big box retailers if that's something that you're looking for. If you continue going north on Interstate 25, after Pueblo, you're going to reach Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs has a population over half a million, and that's less than two hours from the property. If you continue north from Colorado Springs, you're going to hit Denver. You're about three hours from Denver. And Denver is the largest city in Colorado, population over a million. There's also an international airport in Denver. These white circles represent nearby landowners that have developed their properties to varying degrees. Some of these may be homes, cabins, campers, trailers, fifth wheels, shipping containers. There are also other people utilizing their property that is not reflected here. This is a satellite image from Google. So not only is it dated, but many of the people that will utilize their properties out here, they might come for a period of time and then leave. Maybe they come for three months during the fall or in the spring and summer. There's no HOA, there's no HOA fee, there's no time limit to build. If you were to build, the minimum dwelling size is only 600 square feet. You can camp on the property, hunt, hike, horseback ride, build you an off-grid home, maybe one of those earth ships or an arch cabin. So there's a lot of possibilities. As we're doing things like pointing out the easements, etc., that's to educate and inform you. Some people watching this video may be an expert. They may be a surveyor or developer or somebody that works for a planning and zoning department. While there may be other people watching this video who have never even heard of an easement, there are many ways for you to reach your new property, but it's important for you to understand that this is not the type of property that you're going to be able to just drive up to in a low clearance two wheel drive sports car. You're going to need a vehicle with a little higher clearance, preferably four wheel drive or all wheel drive. Even though I have driven back here around these properties in just a small two wheel drive crossover SUV type vehicle, it would have been beneficial to have a larger vehicle, something with four wheel drive or even all wheel drive. There's one experience we had where someone purchased a property from us in this county and the presentation for their property had information just like you're seeing now. And that experience is what planted the seed of the idea for this new series we're launching called Cabin Impossible. We encourage you to visit and subscribe to our new channel, Cabin Impossible. You can do so by going to our Landio YouTube channel and then either under the channels tab or the first section you see when you scroll down below the main video is the ability to just in one click subscribe to Cabin Impossible. And we'd sincerely appreciate if everybody watching this video were to do just that. 
When you finish watching this video, go directly to that Cabin Impossible channel. And then don't just watch the trailer. Give it a thumbs up, leave a positive comment, and then share the channel with everyone that you know. Your family, your friends, your co-workers, your church family. So we have this 35-acre property in Southern Colorado with these amazing mountain views bordering BLM land. Price is only $44,997. All the property details are listed on our website. The property taxes are about $458 a year for the entire 35-acre parcel. There's lots of additional information within the listing description, including the distances to the nearby points of interest, along with links where you can find out more information about those locations. Here we have the GPS coordinates and links where you can open those on a Google map. There were over 150 images of the property and the surrounding area. Again, the property photos were taken within the last couple weeks. And if the property is of interest, we highly recommend you take the time to look through all of these images. And then at the bottom of the page, we have this interactive map. To secure the purchase of this property before it's sold, go to our website, landio.com, navigate to the property details page. Once you're on the property details page, you're going to see a green buy now button. If that buy now button is green and says buy now, that means the property is available as of this moment. Now we sell our properties on a first come first serve basis and we only have one of each property available. This window is going to appear where the $4.99 deposit has been added to the cart. You're going to then click checkout. Once you do, this window appears where you then enter all your contact information, click continue to payment, enter your payment information and complete the checkout process. As soon as your checkout process has been completed, this buy now button will automatically turn gray and say out of stock. Again, we only have one of each property available and we sell our properties on a first come first serve basis. So the first person that places that deposit secures the purchase of the property. The $4.99 deposit is credited towards your purchase and we cover all of the closing costs. The remaining balance may be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, ACH bank draft, credit card, debit card, or any combination of these methods. We make the whole process super simple and it can be completed in as little as a day. Now, if you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 866-8LANDIO. That's 866-852-6346. We also have a live chat feature here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message or respond to your next availability. You can also fill out this contact form here on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. On behalf of myself, my family, and the entire team here at Landio, we sincerely appreciate your continued support. Please help us make the dream of land ownership a reality for more people by sharing our website, our properties, and our videos with everyone that you know. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next property video. God bless. Landio. Land is opportunity. Please click in the upper left hand corner and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In the upper right hand corner we have all of our available properties in a playlist. In the lower right hand corner we have a playlist of our Land is Opportunity series. And in the lower left hand corner we have our Landio Unscripted series.